three or five years. Also, the raised stadium, we need to get the raise to the table. And at the table, we need to ask them or request them to open their books to start with. If the citizens of this city are going to have money pledged to any new stadium or including the existing Tropicana Field, which we fund now, the citizenry must make that decision because it's a multi-million dollar, multi-year deal that we'll be getting ourselves into. In, in deference to, to Charlie's point about communicating with folks in the neighborhood, um, I, I think you can hold town meetings every week, um, but unless you are able to get people to town meetings, um, communicating with them is still going to be pretty difficult. I'll be honest, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I don't know the answer to get people more engaged, to get people more involved. Um, but it's going to take more than just having forums. Uh, you know, we currently have neighborhood associations. There's, uh, I think, 11 active uh, on the west side. And even that is not very active. Um, we have less than 10% turnout at the meetings. And until there's an issue, like Azalea, uh, you know, people are pretty much staying at home. So it's not necessarily that we don't have a forum to communicate. It's that we don't have the ability to actually draw people towards those meetings. Um, as far as... Uh, being able to, to talk to people about the peers in the stadium, I do believe though that we need to get council out of these chambers. We need to get council meeting as we did with the budget forum around the city um, so that at least when people do have a chance to meet, they have a chance to meet with all of the council members at the same time. Everyone can hear